the best in Japanese cuisine, Oja Hibachi Grill and Steakhouse. I am about the only one that was named in his will mm -hmm. that never seen a penny of the Hughes estate. Uh, almost everything else, uh, including the, the Mormon Church, the Boy Scouts, the city of Long Beach, it's a lot of the universities, almost everybody that was named in the, the will, even a lot of these people that uh, were so-called relatives of his got part of the uh, estate. I'm the only one that never seen a penny of his estate. And they uh, actually treated me like a criminal and stuff for several years. I was even threatened uh, to be sent to prison and, and all that. And, and I'm uh, thankful that they've now come out with a lot of evidence proving that what I told them was not. <laughs> you fact, have an actual copy of his will yes. on the back of this oh, book oh, that yeah, names it, it, you. Yes, it, um, I think it's down here, number um, eight, uh, one sixteenth of uh, his estate uh, to be left to Melvin Dumas. How much would that have been? The uh, estimates would have been somewhere in excess of $150 million. Wow. Yeah, I th that's just an estimate. I think it probably would have been much higher than that. So what was Howard Hughes like? How much time did you spend with him? I only spent about three hours with him from the time I picked him up and I drove him back to Las Vegas and dropped him off behind the Sands Hotel. He told me who he was, but at the time I thought he was a vagrant or just an old prospect or something. Mm -hmm. He was hurt, and I wanted to take him to a doctor or a hospital, mm -hmm. but he didn't want anything to do with it. What was wrong with him? I think so. I'm not sure. He wouldn't tell me. But I think somebody dumped him, yeah. took, got a hold of him somehow, and took him out in the desert and just hit him in the head and dumped him because he was injured. And uh, Bob Darrow, who worked for Howard Hughes, uh, said that he had flown Hughes to the Cottontail Ranch that very night, oh. earlier in the evening, the same night that I picked him up. So I don't know. I just, I just happened upon him and took him back to Vegas and dropped him off behind the sands. Uh, little did I know that he owned the sands and the Desert Inn and the Silver yeah. Slipper and the <laughs> Landmark. And, and he was, uh, at, the time, uh, at that time, he was Nevada's largest employer. How but, did you find out that you were in the will? Well, actually, a guy by the name of Lee Forsythe that used to work for Hughes, that was a, he claimed he was a bag man for Hughes, who, which he delivered bribes and stuff to different political yeah. officials and judges and senators and whatever. He, uh, he had come in possession of it, and he brought it to me, and for whatever reason, I do not know.